Hey guys, it's Breezy, and when I was a kid, I was very, very, very into not real life. There, there's just something about like the supernatural, like the, the superstitious, that sort of stuff that just is just so much better than thinking about real life. And I, I fucking loved it, dude. My, I mean, my parents were kind of cool. They, they bought into that, that a lot, and they got me like so many books so many books on that stuff. They got me, um, spyology, vampirology, wizardology, pirateology, oceanology. Holy shit, I was a nerd. Alienography, mythology, Egyptology, alienology, monsterology, a little teeny eensy Egyptology handbook. And my one true fascination when I was a kid, dragonology. I mean, how could you not be obsessed with this? This is literally, th this is, this is, this is realer than Real life, you got freaking frost dragons in the Arctic. I mean, no duh, of course they are. European dragons, there's European dragons. There's no American dragons, but there is knuckers. It's got specimen examples of like scales and stuff. You can feel it. It's got freaking anatomy, dude. It's got dragon anatomy. I know more about dragon anatomy than you. Dragon anatomy. Okay, this is one of the coolest fucking things. Look, look, look. So it's got literally the birth cycle, like it's got embry an embryo phase, and then it's got a like developmental. Oh, this is the embryo. I don't know how I don't know how babies work. Then it's it gets it gets really big, and it gets so big that it breaks out of the shell. Oh, then it's like it's a baby dragon. It's a baby dragon. You get the idea. This ship. This was amazing. This was dope. This was awesome. This was my childhood. I'd like to think that little parts of me still live on, like that little whimsy in me still live on, like in my modern day self. And for me, this has been a summer of uh, fantasy. It's been a summer of like sparkles. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim. I've been playing uh, Baldur's Gate. I've been playing the entire subject of this video, Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. Yeah, it's it's time. I know people like thought that this this day would never fuck. I know people thought this day would like never come, but like it's, it's here. Elden Ring in general feels like you know a game that's like greater than the sum of its parts. It feels like a, a book mixed with a movie, mixed with a video game, and then turned into a video game. Like I, I heard something about like the creative process was that they George R. R. Jar Jar? George R. R. Martin literally created a world and Miyazaki destroyed it. So I don't really know exactly how that works, but that sounds really fucking cool. To say Elden Ring and especially the DLC relit my flame of ambition for video games. Yeah, yeah, you see what I did there? You see what I, you see what I... I was very excited to play Shadow of the Earth Tree on release. Typically the way FromSoft works is they craft like an entire lore master's bible worth of like intricate story and interpersonal conflicts and like character narrative and every world building exposition, everything you need. And then they'll take that book and they'll probably like sacrifice it in a volcano with like a virgin or two and then provoke said volcano until it erupts and launches the burnt crisped remains of that lore amongst the lands for you to find. Can you tell I'm not the biggest fan of this method of storytelling? And it's not like, it's not bad, it's just like, I'd rather have an easier time understanding it. Am I calling myself stupid? I think I'm calling myself stupid. That is besides the point, because we've got an entire new story at our disposal, ready for me to pick the little bugs out of its hair like two little chimpanzees that love each other. I wrote that. It's in the script. I wrote, it's right there. I wrote that. Leave it to Vati to like, give me the lowdown on what the fuck's going on in this story. I'm just trying to play. Like that's, that's the one thing that DLCs are awesome for is that you kind of just get a blind experience. I mean, as, as long as you didn't like <laughs> spoil the entire thing on TikTok, you know, before you even bought the DLC. Now, okay, way too much exposition. Let's just fucking get into it. Okay, Breezy, lock in. It's time to go to the land of shadow. You know, I thought I thought it was gonna be more of like a autonomous process, but you know, it's okay. I'll touch. I'll touch the hand. Okay, take me to the land of shadow. Whoa! <laughs> all right, breezy. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I'm about to fucking shit myself. Calm down, calm down. It's time to put your brain to the test. Bring out your inner lore master and conquer this story. Take this! Oh my god! Stop! 
guys are out of here. This man literally has a freight train in his hands. Uh, Skidoo Tree Blessing improved. Okay, so, so it gets easier. What the fuck? What does that even mean? Don't, 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 don't do that. Believe Mikkel's apologies. When he says our delivery will come. Stop! Oh, 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 stop! Oh, stop! Just lightning everywhere! Make him stop, please. I tried asking, he, he doesn't listen to me. Who gave the chimpanzee the sword? Why would you do this? Just give him an 847. Let me just say, from like a spectacle standpoint, every inch of the land of shadow has been intricately and painstakingly laid down with like detail and like lore that adds to the original story while also creating an entire new one on its own. I just think it's awesome, it adds a lot to the uh, pre existing narrative, too. And what is the narrative, you ask? Um, uh, so I'm got I gotta follow Mikola, wherever they may be. I mean, they uh, I don't fucking know. It just seems like a little bit of an open-ended, like task. I mean, this DLC is an ADHD wet dream. That that entire mentality of like, if you see something, you can go to it. Plus, like seeing cool things in the distance, it's just. Your, your neurons are firing, there's no stopping. So I strayed immediately from my goal of finding Mikola with another goal in mind. To find just cool shit. And boy, let me tell you, there was some pretty cool shit to find. Ancient cities that apparently predate the Erd Tree, sprawling towers, the jar stuffing room. Why am I uncomfortable? Ew! <laughs> I hate it! I hate it! <laughs> Get out of my sight! Evil beast. <gasps> okay, I hate it! I hate the- What the fuck?! Boss fight. No! We don't talk about the jar stuffing room. Nothing really caught my eye since we've gotten here. I mean, except for that- That ominously shaped mountain that looks... An unfathomable distance away. Why does it look like that? That's- that's not a normal mountain, dude. That's like a... No, that's like a prime candidate for, like, evil mountain if I've ever seen one. Do I go to the Death Mountain? I think I'm gonna go to the Death Mountain. It's an interesting thought that in a game full of, like, gods and magic, giant beasts and epic battles, a single piece of geography caught my eye more than anything that I've found in, like, the first two hours of playing the game. I have my journey clearly marked out for me. I soon noticed a break in the main path that looked like it followed the incline towards the mountain pass. So I decided it was at this point I was going to fully commit to whatever I had opted in for and see what awaits me atop the jagged peak. And so our adventurer set out to scale the jagged peak. And as he rode atop torrent, overlooking cliff drops and the foggy, obscured lands below, he heard a call. But not just any call. The call. It's it's practically like screaming at me to Hello? Hello? Okay. Oh my god, he doesn't have any legs. Bale! Vile Bale! Oh, terror incarnate! Dude, I have terror chills right now. <laughs> what is happening? I will soon feast upon your heart. Mark my words. You too shall know fear. <laughs> Um, the pain, the exquisite pain. So whoever Bale is fucked this guy up, and he seems to have a vendetta against this guy. 
And I'm assuming that means that I'm gonna be fighting this guy in the future. You know what? Yeah, I could take it. Come no closer. I'm not trying to kill you, bro. I'm savage me no further. I'm not I should I put him out of his misery? <laughs> Spare me your cruelty. Alright, um, I'm assuming that means leave me here because I'm going to show up in a random place three hours later and give you an item that you can't use. Egon. That's his name, Egon. Remember this name. After the previous exchange, Breezy continued his trek up the mountain. The surrounding environment painted its own story toppled statues depicting the ancient dragons, a man without any legs detailing a perilous fight with a dreadful beast. Is it the bird? Is the bird that big of a deal you took me off of torrent, damn it? Ancient dragon, man! Wh you can't just say- It's ancient dragon, man. I'm a dragon, too! Is that guy actually a, a dragon? Is that armor? He's got a fucking tail. That's an actual dragon. Man, ancient, an ancient dragon, man. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be insensitive, but it's just... Is that a human? Are humans, like, crossbreeding with drag... No, okay, it's Elden Ring. It's That, that wouldn't be that hard to believe. Interesting. Dragon's pit. Is there gonna be a dragon in here? Is gonna be Bale? Is Bale a dragon? Oh shit. Oh god, is this Bale? Bale! Vile Bale! Oh god! So there's obviously some. some dragon lore going on here. So why else would they be here? I sound like an idiot right now, don't I? Leave it to the purists. Gati, you got this. Jumping off. Oh, this is such a boss fight. Let's go. Oh, oh, I, I, I. Oh. I thought that was like a pool of water. <laughs> All right, let's see this fucking Mira. See your dragon man. See your dragon man. Ooh, ooh, that was a fucking cool attack. This guy's like an anime character. He looks like he looks like he's got guts his armor on. Okay. Good. Good job. The dragon is just great. <gasps> I get his katana. I can be the ancient dragon man. I don't have enough dexterity. Great katana with spines of gravel stone along its blade. Wielded by the ancient dragon man of the dragon's pit. It has an anti-dragon effect. Interesting. Formerly a dragon communion warrior, the ancient dragon man was once arbiter of those worthy to devour the dreaded one. Dragon wound slash. Designed to hunt colossal dragons, this skill cloaks the armament with a jagged gravel stone aura before performing a high leaping slash. Charge the attack to also fire off the aura. Dude, I can weaponize my aura? <gasps> Oh, I'm heading towards the Twin Peaks! I'm heading towards the Big Peak! I'm heading towards the Big Mountain! Oh. Okay, this is kind of cool. It's definitely where fucking Bale lives. If Bale... Okay, I'm, I'm going real, like, tinfoil hypothetical here. If Bale is up there... Did Egon go all the way up there? Get his fucking legs torn off? And then crawl all the way back down. <laughs> I hope, I hope so. STOP RUNNING FROM ME! Where? Hello? Where is- Oh. No. That's not fair. To the peak! That's like bigger than the one in Caleb. Just a dead, dead dragon, so oh my god. So is this a communion with Bale? 
Dude, Egon fought a fucking god, and he lost. Is that him? He's got one, two, three, four. Does he have eight horns? One of the greatest dragon incantations harnessed the piercing power of Bale the Dragon. Even after being consumed, the throbbing heart of Bale continues to resist its subjugation, never weakening. One day, the fire within will consume the very body and soul of its communion devourer. One day. And at this communion altar, after talking to yet another ancient dragon person, the pieces finally fell into place. Warrior true, picture yourself feasting upon a dragon's essence. In the throbbing heart of the oldest, vilest dragon of them all, it would be the purest form of communion. The fullest sating of your hunger and your consummation as a dragon whole. Yes, as it should be. Now, seek the jagged peak. There you will find Bale, the oldest and vilest of all dragons. Lampa warrior. Follow your desire. And slay the foul beast, devour its throbbing heart. I will grant you the strength required in the name of my lord, Placidusax. In a time long past, Bale turned upon the dragon lord. A traitor assailed our master and inflicted a grievous only to make a hasty retreat, becoming an enemy of the group. Since that day, Bale and his bloodline, the Drakes, have served sacrifices for Dragon Queen, Lang Bang Wai. It was claimed that Bale stood in direct opposition to the ancient dragons, and especially their god, or I think it was the current Elden Lord at the time, Placidusax, Pla Plas Plas Placidusax, 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 Plas Placidusax, so much so that he hit a fucking lick on him in his own turf. That's right, even the dragon god emperor himself had generational ops. Hashtag gang stalking is real. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me that this guy betrayed an entire divine dynasty, got cast out from Faramazula, metaphorically fell to the land of shadow to rule over his own domain, and he has his own group of dedicated followers? This guy's dragon Satan. Dude, I want to fight this guy so bad for my boy Egon. This, its body is like a landmass. They're really doing a lot. They're doing- they're hyping this up. The sky is getting red. Okay, shut up. Bale dies tonight! Rickety Bridge! I love Rickety Bridges! It's funny. My last game got corrupted at Radagon, so I lost like all my- Are they fighting? Yo! Do some damage. Oh shit. He's fucking him up. Oh shit. Oh no. Alright, I'm gonna get some water. I'll be right back. Is that who I think it is? What a sight! Is that my boy? Warrior true, if ever one there was. Is a that... fellow drink warrior. Egon. Egon. 
Do you not remember? Conjure your past! How once you were! When fear was yet foreign to you! <laughs> oh, dude, this guy's lost it. <sighs> Drake Warrior, dear friend. Grant me this one wish. Yes, anything. Take this finger, my finger. Up Scale the bump. the jagged peak. Okay. Face bale the dread. And when you do, summon me. Summon my soul. Oh, fuck my yeah. My limbs are limbs no more. My heart is twice over filled with fear. It almost made sense. Some semblance of a story began to shape itself. One of honor glory, faith, and ultimately loss. A man desperate to prove himself, not only to himself, but also to the clan he identifies with. Drake warriors are meant to be fierce, imposing, proud. And while he lay there broken and battered, what would be left of him if he doesn't take back the honor that was so brutishly taken from him? After all, Oh, Bale's gonna get you hurt my gun, you're gonna pay for it. I don't know if you noticed, but the weather is kind of bad. As you were climbing the mountain, you started hearing thunder and the, the sky, the clouds started moving faster, and uh, eventually it all starts to turn fucking red. I mean, if that's not insane foreshadowing what was this? foreshadowing world building build up exposition i don't know one of those things spent literally 20 minutes building up to this up down up down clap synced i forgot to sync it bail is here i'm here egon is here let's fucking go i realize now this is no ordinary task this is egon's life mission his life goal he dedicated the end of his life out of pure agony to kill this thing and he chose me to accompany him on this journey. Moby Dick. <laughs> I don't know where I was gonna put this, probably something like towards the end, I'm just gonna talk about it now. There is significant like lore implications to imply that this is like a stand-in for Cap Captain Ahab, Captain Ahab. I don't, I don't understand. I don't really, I haven't read the book, I'm sorry. All I know is that Captain Ahab is a vengeful, vengeful man, spiteful and angry. He lost his leg on a whale hunt when he was younger and he dedicated his entire life to hunting down the creature that took it from him. Sound familiar? But that one thought, everything links together. This is Captain Ahab, and this is Moby's dick. I mean, and this is his Moby dick. <laughs> How do you mess it up that bad? Oh my god. Ha! <laughs> So the beast reveals itself! Oh, terror incarnate! Our fight will be legendary! <laughs> what is he? Oh, what the hell? Bail! Egon, run! This is it? This is Bail? Egon, you want me to kill this? I, 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 Look at it, dude! This this is a fucking monster! Is it wearing prestigious axe's heads? Oh my god. Wait. Wait. Look at it. It's... It's injured. That means... Someone just has to finish the job. Coward! Stop running from me! Wait, 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 wait! Egon, I get this is Moby's dick and all, but like, th this thing is a cornered animal, and it has a fucking pipe bomb strapped to its chest! No ordinary weapon is gonna take this down. I need more power. I gotta go back! More. More! I need more! More! Dale. <laughs> you picked a bad day to be alive, my friend. 
With this, I've become a true Drake warrior! And now I and Egon shall strike you down! He can fly? Egon, you never told me he can fly! What are you? Egon, I thought you were pulling a paraplegic! He dies tonight! You think you're so fucking tough, don't you? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Big scary guy! Oh yeah! Bail the dread, more like bail the dead! I should edit that out. me no longer if I'm being honest there wasn't really too much else afterwards uh, you go back to Egon's place after and he's dead it's almost like the only thing he was clinging on to in life was was the grudge that he held towards this monster and in killing it it released his soul and allowed him to move on from life and it's really cool that in a game like elden ring where i spent maybe hundreds of hours listening to lore videos on like the intricate details of like the golden order and the family lineage and freaking glenstone sorcery and the outer gods and everything i was absolutely captured by such a small narrative in a wide scale story in a grand scale this is Literally just a story about a guy who hates a monster so much that he lives to kill it. And that's it. It just kind of goes to show that the more emotionally charged stories can be just as powerful as the, like, complex ones. And not only that, but the depiction of Bale was incredible. Honestly, one of the best depictions of dragons I've ever seen in media. The narrative, the build-up, I didn't even, I didn't need a massive story to know that this thing was a monster and I needed to kill it. And it made me feel like I was fighting a fucking dragon, if, I, if that makes sense. I hope people in the future take that as an example of uh, a cool dragon, because that's what they're all about. They're, they're creatures of myth, of legend, they're ancient, they're like a, they're beast-like, yet they're smart. Like, they're, they're really interesting, so I feel like there's a lot to, to unpack there, and it seems that Elden Ring did a really good job at doing that. That's what I got to say. See you guys in like seven months.